7 a.m. sharp. We were on time. Uh, today we're doing some of my favorite type of stuff, which is these older sautillos that were originally from Mexico a really long time ago. And uh, they're really chipped and, and the edges are all cracked really good and there's holes in them everywhere. And these are the ones that when we're done just look insane. You know, I don't I don't necessarily like these tiles when they look so brand new, like right out of the box. I like them in there beat up and tattered and lived on a little, but of course you want them to be spotlessly clean, right? So as you can see, we got Mikey on the, on, on the proverbial microphone. And what we're doing now is uh, we're doing our process to it. And what our process does is it, it, it penetrates the clay and removes all the life from it. And as you can see, as you remove the life from the floor, it comes back to the original floor. You can see, I mean, it just looks incredible. It's gonna look phenomenally amazing, ridiculous in here, people. You don't even know. But then see all the chips and the character. See, we can't get rid of the character. Like some of this pitting and some of the stuff you see here, you can't clean this away. And that, but that's what makes floors like this my favorite. That's what this guy loves about it is he wants to keep the character. And I find most of you guys are like that, is we want to keep the character. But look at that. You can't have dirty grout, people. That's why it's disgusting, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got to have clean grout. You've got to maintain your floors. So purpose of this particular video, actually there wasn't a purpose. I just wanted to show you that just because these are my favorite floors. And I think this is, and you'll see the end result in a minute couple seconds from now in the rest of this video but you'll see when we're done it's gonna look phenomenal and amazing so when you're putting in your sautillos if you have the option of super sautillos or old rustic sautillos these are the old rustic ones the only reason they made it, started making super sautillos is because people were complaining because they didn't like the chips and the divots and the pits but that was in the 90s, right? So now here we are in the, you know, to the, the 20 hundreds, whatever the fuck, right? People mm -hmm. now, it's people's change. So now people want their stuff, their new stuff, you know, they want their, their old stuff to look new. You know, the new is the new new, or old is the new new. They want their stuff to be chipped and pit, you know, we don't like perfect lines, straight lines. We like things to be a little crooked, a little wavy like we all are, right? So you can see, Mikey's gonna hit this one more time, detail it, this is this, we call this our, uh, Steel strip here. This is just a wrapper up here. Make sure we got off all the film and everything, and then even then we're gonna clean it. But as you guys can see, it's gonna look phenomenal. Purpose of the video is is there is no purpose of the video. You just want to be clean, people. Though. I'll tell you that. I don't care how you try to be clean. You just gotta try, right? That's what I, that's, I feel like they didn't try, <laughs> but that's okay. It's gonna look phenomenal in here. So anyway, we're gonna get some work done. It's getting to that time of year. We're just swamped. So if you have any questions or anything you want to ask us, don't. We're too busy. Don't email me. Don't call me unless you're serious about, you know, serious about getting some work done. We're just too busy. I'm getting 3,000 calls or emails a month. I can't handle all that. So please, bigger projects, 1,000 square footers or more, serious callers only. By the time you watch all my videos and see all this stuff, if you can't prove that I'm the men, you know, we're the men by now, you know what I'm saying? We're not for you. We're not a fit. We're not a match. So anyway, though. If you want to get a free consumer awareness guide, I can get one out to you in the mail. Um, and basically, it'll tell you all your do's and don'ts and everything you need to know about these tiles. So, if you do want that information, you can leave your information. That's it. Mailing address, name, all that good stuff. And I'll get one out in the mail to you right away. And that'll help you further along making your decision process while you're doing this. Because you don't want to rush into anything anyway. And you definitely don't want carpet guys doing your stuff. So, you're going to want my awareness guide. It'll talk to you about all that good stuff. Um, so, anyway, though, I'm going to get to work. 
Stay informed, like us, subscribe, share. Most important of all, people, be clean. All right, boys, let's get some work done today. Let's get this old fan going. Uh, something like that would be like 500 bucks. Uh, it's probably yeah. like 10 money for yeah. it. It was, it was. Kevin, show them the footage.